Unboxing time. One of my favorite times in the studio where we get to have a look at something that Canada Customs has already opened for me. <laughs> this is actually sent down to me from a Nitro RCX. You guys know I've been down to Nitro RCX before and uh, tested out some of their products. This is actually being distributed by Nitro RCX, but it is an Exceed. Now, a lot of people ask me to do inexpensive trucks because not everybody has a huge blown out budget for RCs. There's a lot of people out there that have to manage uh, what their earnings are and they can only get a couple of hundred dollars for a good RC. So it's up to me to kind of pick RCs and show them off ones that I think that are fairly original, not knocked off or anything like that, right? And to try to show off some cost-effective RC. Any RC you can have fun with is a good RC. You know, it just depends on what kind of fun you're looking for. <laughs> All right, so let's have a peek. Bum, bum, bum. Look at that. Straight as I open. Big hex screw on the inside, not a screw, hex wrench, sorry, I almost dropped the box here. Let's cut this open. This is the new 6x6 uh, that's just been released at the time of this filming. And at the time of this filming, there's some in stock. But if you're watching this a few days later, you might be out of luck. Uh, this truck, from what I see, is on sale at the site at the time of this filming. And uh, it goes for under 300 bucks under 300 bucks. That's exactly how much the one fifth scale conversion I did uh, was just under that for the big green bastard. Don't worry, I'll be fixing it up. We'll see it again. Uh -huh. Six by six, doesn't that look awesome already? Body looks too short for it. I might have to source out a new one, but for what I see, all right, possibilities. I'm starting to think about how we could use this in an adventure. Ready to run, I love it. Come on, let's get in there. Get this box undone. There we go, it's fairly light, I can tell already. All right, let's lift this big boy up. Yep, yeah, fairly light. This is gonna be the same controller. It's probably a 2.4 gigahertz black and purple controller, I'm assuming. Goodbye, box. Don't worry, no boxes were hurt during the filming of this video. There we go. Holy cow, look at that, it's laid right down. Okay, so obviously for shipping, what did they do? Let's see, let me understand the truck before I explain it. Dun, 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 dun. Body post, body clip, and body clip. There's a sticker on it that says it was made October 29th, or that's when the control uh, quality control was done, so that's cool. Looks like just a couple of chassis that they put together for something. They wanted a big trail truck, you see. They figured if they were gonna get into the scale market, they might as well do some of the bigger trucks. It makes it easier to get over stuff. Now let's see what they did. Okay, so these links are undone at the front, okay, and it's quite on purpose. I thought to myself, not on camera, but in fact, turns out that it's on purpose. Check it out. Must be for their shipping, actually right here. Zip tie, zip tie. And of course, they are actually gonna go down here in the front. So, let me get this. Yeah, that's right, you saw it. I did a little dance. I love new RCs, especially ones that are super cool. Ones that we haven't seen before. This, from what I understand, was a uh, Frankenchild, uh, like a, a put-together RC in the research and development part, uh, research and development department, blah blah blah, uh, at Nitro RCX, where they actually have all the guys working on different stuff. And if they come up with something cool, they submit it to Exceed. If Exceed likes it, they'll make a new one. So there we go. So there, and there, and so in that bag. Where did I put it? There we go, here and here, there they are. Okay, so in fact, I believe there's even instructions for what we're looking at right now. Bum, 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 bum. It's huge. I know the camera doesn't do it any justice, but once it's done, I'll measure it up for you. Yeah, it's showing you right here in the instructions. 
that you need to put this together. Same on the back here I just read, right? So we need to put all the links together. That's why it's flopping down. So the bag comes with, bah, bah, bah. you want to get in closer? You want to see? All right, so these four little screws and washers come on out. Let's see here. This is my power grip wrench set that I've been using. Rubber handles, uh, fantastic. They work really well. Power grip, I guess that's why. This is a 0 0.078 hex wrench. Fit it through the front and right through the link. And there we go. Bum, bum, bum. Completely adjustable shocks too. It looks like there's multiple areas to adjust the shocks and linkages. That's pretty cool. For an Exceed, really what I'm seeing is the same thing. This is the two chassis. So this would have been off their mad uh, torque, I bet. I don't want to. I don't want to speculate, but that's what I'm going to say. Is it's off the mad torque, uh, or uh, something like that, you know? And it's two chassis plates. They must have saw that the other one was doing super well, and uh, thought, you know, a six by six is pretty darn awesome to begin with. And I'm dying to take it out onto the trail, right? Once I lift it up a little bit. Okay, let's get this other side in. <clears throat> Now there's only two uh, nuts here with the screws because those ones actually just fit right into the plate, right? There's a battery tray there for the uh, nickel metal hydride and it just simply uh, went into the base plate. Now this top one here, let's get these links undone. Surprised they didn't go with a longer body. This is quite a beast, but for the amount uh, that we're looking at for the ride, I can see why they are keeping their costs low. Darn, I should have put in the washer. Everyone was like, medic the washer. <laughs> That's okay. I'll go back and put them in. Uh, there we go here. I'm going to put the washer right against the chassis plate. The screw goes through. And of course, we'll just lock it up with this little nut on the back. Bum, 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 bum. I guess I could have taken the tire off. Did I need to? These tires look pretty good. Eh, uh, well, you know, for a $300 truck, they look pretty good. Just under $300. Uh, the compound doesn't feel sticky at all, but I have a feeling, for me at least, in the snow, this is going to be something that's fun. Now, get my pu 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 pliers. Could have used the hex wrench that they supplied. Probably be easier, but I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> There's the reality of doing a build video on camera. I always try to leave in those kind of things, dropping the pliers or struggling with getting a screw in because really that's part of the hobby right there is learning your patience. And you guys are laughing right now. Where did I put the other nut? There it is, got stuck in the tire. <laughs> All right, so this one gets released, goes down to here. Move that out, take the washer, even though I had one already. Right here, stick it right through the frame. There we go, there we go, I'm patient. You gotta be patient, give yourself a little bit of leeway. All right there. And we'll start tying that up on the back. Now I see all these, uh, the ESCs are for nickel metal. I'm gonna actually have to check it out. Uh, if you're gonna ready to run it, now nickel metal, when I say that, just for the noobs that are here, that's, I'm talking about the battery and I'll show you that in a few moments. Come on. There we go. And nice. I love this screwdriver set or this hex set. Easy to use. Okay, so there we go. If we wanted, I could totally lift this up more because you can see the multiple holes for the shocks. And those are long links too, right? Now, they do have, uh, I did see some shock spacers, yeah? This is what you'd use if you wanted to put the springs at a higher tension, right? You can just move the shock mount like that. But, you know, let's have a peekaboo. Now, now that this is on here, how does it look? Come on, get on there. Right there, right there, and kabooyaka. Right there. Okay, still a little short in the backside, yeah, you know, but for the cost, you know, I don't know. I could definitely work with this, maybe put on like the front of some big, huge uh, semi-truck or 
You know, I'm gonna have to source something. It's not my favorite body, but it's still pretty cool. And you know what? A truck like this is affordable. You get what you pay for, right? Let's have a look at this one. Hopefully this is 2.4 gigahertz. Everything is these days. There's a charger. Oh yeah. Well, there, we didn't have to worry about that at all. And how many batteries? One, two, three, four. Okay, so four inexpensive radio. I've got about six or seven of these because all the Exceed Drift Pop products and stuff I've used. Hey, it works. If it works and it keeps costs low, why not use it? Now, something like this is a never ending area for me to upgrade, you know? I could look at putting new ESCs in here if I wanted. I could look at putting in different waterproof um, servos. Are these waterproof? They are not. They're just the Exceed uh, servos, but check this out. Motor, motor, motor. All right, so I backed up the camera so you can have a good look at the uh, six by six. Three motor on axles means a lot of traction and a lot of power. Each one of these motors being brushed, a lot of us have figured out that can go into nice clean water. Muddy water, you start to get, you know, grit inside the motors, you're going to run into problems. So if it was me, just by the over, you know, looking over it, structurally it looks very normal uh, and uh, rather simple for what it is. But I would think that this is something I would want because it's nice and light for the trail. You know, you don't want to be hiking this. You can throw this over your shoulder and take it out and have a good time. But, you know, being light, you can carry it a lot farther. Now, you got someone? I've got someone distracting me off camera. I'm losing my train of thought. Come here. Check this out. I've got a little driver for for the six by six. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh. Say look at, say hi to YouTube. Thanks, mummy. Awesome. Look at, here's Mac. Mac attack. That's, are we gonna call it, is that what we're gonna call this six by six? Hmm? A Mac attack? <laughs> you gonna ride it? I know everyone w would want you to be on there, but I'm not gonna put you on there. Hi, buddy. You're gonna steal the show away from this awesome red truck. <laughs> hi. That's good. You wanna say hi to YouTube? Say hi, YouTube. Everyone's been asking to see you, huh? You're growing up nice and big. Nice socks there, buds. Looking good. Little hat, little bear hat on there. You're going to be RCing with me soon enough, huh? The yeah. Mac Attack. My new Exceed RC from uh, Nitro RCX. Look at that. Stealing the show on me. What do you think? Is red your color? Are you yeah. going to start crying on me? <laughs> Come on. Are you trying to say you're tired? Oh no, it's okay, Mom. Maybe we'll take his hat. Nah. I know you want to play right now, don't you? Yeah, well, soon enough, my friend. Soon enough. This one can be yours. The Mac Attack. There you go, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you get a general overview of uh, how cool this truck is. And, uh, you know, the body's kind of growing on me. I want to take this out and do a running video with it. With it on the ground. With the tires rolling. See you guys next time. Hey! If you want more, make sure to subscribe.